Hello there, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to update that Chrome UI. Now, right now, I'm currently on my desktop because I want to take you step by step here. So let's get started. And by the way, guys, if you're watching this on your tablet or laptop, please stay in the video because even though I'm watching this or rather trying this out on my home desktop, it's perfectly fine. The process is the same for desktop and laptop. So let's get started right here. So the first thing I want you to do right now is open up a Chrome. So right now I have a Chrome tab right here. Let me just open it up. Give me a second. Full screen for you guys. I'm just going to move that tab right there. Now, basically, this is going to be my Chrome, right? Now, the first thing I want you to do is right now check the update. To check the update, simply click on those three dots on the upper right. Click on settings. Arrive on this platform. So on the left section, you'll notice a lot of um, choices right, or options. So please click about Chrome. And once you click on that one, you saw that um, little line circling, right? Chrome is auto updating every time it needed. And right now we need at least version 117 or version 117 to further um, process this tutorial. So as you can see right now, I have the latest version of 120 and I'm good to go here. So for example, you don't have at least 117. So please update it first before proceeding. And that being said, once you're here, you're done updating your Chrome. Next thing I want you to do right now is simply type in this exact thing that I type in my URL. So I'm just going to delete up to the settings and simply type in flags. Click on enter. And this should be the new landing page on my end. And once you're here, I just want you to simply type in Chrome refresh on the search bar as so. So you'll have a lot of choices here. So I want you to simply click on this options right here that says Chrome UI, UI refresh. Make this sure this enabled. Another thing is Chrome refresh 2023. This is also enabled. So after enabling those two Chrome refresh 2023 and Chrome web UI refresh 2023, next thing I want you to search up is basically customize Chrome side panel. So that will be customized. Give me a second here. And there you go, customize Chrome side panel, this one right here. Make sure this is also enabled. So click on relaunch after doing so. So basically, if you're done, you can should see enabled for all those three options. And that being said, let's check them all out right now. After clicking those two enable, you'll see if everything is new. So you have customers for Chrome your way. You have bookmarks you just got even better. And so on and so forth. We're going to tackle them one by one here. So... With this one, let's open a new tab and you'll see on the lower right, you can customize it as it is. It's a very easy and user friendly customize option. Not like before, you need to click these three dots and do a lot of things, quite a hassle. So for this one, you can simply click on dark mode if you want to go dark, light or device, it will follow with your Microsoft MOS color. So that being said, this is actually also can be changed your theme. For example, you want to change your theme there and so on and so forth. It's really up to you. For example, I want to use this specific theme, this one right here. I can just simply click on it. Easy as that. How wonderful it is, right? Now, another thing I want you to take note of is going to be the bookmark. As you can see right there. So another thing I want you to take note of is the bookmarks. So if you click on that button right there, again, this is going to be our, let's call it, um shortcut key or shortcut button if you click on that drop down icon you have reading list bookmark history reading mode or customized chrome right now we are in customized chrome so if you go to bookmarks you'll see this wonderful or organized bookmark list you can um organize them from newest to oldest um by all this last open etc and so on and so forth that is basically it that is what I want to point out here. Bookmark now is pretty easy to organize. Next thing I want you to take note of is going to be this new option menu. That's basically on this top right or top left section. If you click on it, this is basically your history for the past few minutes, past days. So you can check them out here. Pretty easy, right? And that being said, if you go here once more time on the three dots, you can easily change your profile if you have a lot of profiles on your Chrome. Not unlike before, you need to close your Chrome and open it up once again to change your profiles. How easy is that, right? And by the way, guys, the only downfall with this one upon checking 
When I was resizing my Chrome, I cannot resize it on the top section as I can do right now. So all I did was restart my PC, updating it, and now I can resize it all the way I can do so. Anyway, if you're experiencing this one, if you're done, you cannot resize it from the top or um, vertically, just restart your PC and you're good to go. That being said, thank you so much for watching. Please hit the like button, subscribe. Catch you guys on the next one. Goodbye for now.